guys, today I'll be talking about school supplies. Not just regular school supplies, but engineering school supplies. I'll be talking about what you need, what you don't really need, and what you might need. And also like where to buy stuff and where not to buy stuff. Um, so let's get started. Here's my backpack. Um, let's see, what do I have in here? Uh, my planner, wallet. Okay, calculators. Um, this is a TI-84. I recommend TI-83, TI-84. You don't really need a TI-89 because those are like way too fancy, but you know, you just need like basic graphing capabilities and stuff. Um, I have my name on it. <laughs> um, anyway, so if you don't, if you have a professor that doesn't want you to have a graphing calculator, but you still need a calculator, I recommend having like a regular calculator. Um, this one does like this one does like basic trig functions and stuff and it's very useful because sometimes even I forget like the unit circle and I just like want to calculate it just in case. Okay, this is uh, this is a breadboard. Um, the breadboards at my school we have a lot, like every engineering lab we have has one, but you know they're really sucky. Um, Everyone's been using them like hundreds of students a day probably. So you want to like have your own, especially if you're working on a project, you could just carry this with you whenever you want to. Um, yeah, and let's see. This is my box of resistors, transistors, uh, capacitors and stuff, wires. Um, this is my lab kit. Um, I don't have to carry this every day, but uh, you do need one if you're an electrical engineering major or a computer engineering major. Um, I bought this at the bookstore, but I recommend not to buy it at like a bookstore because it costs like $100. But you could just go to any like electronics store and they have like certain parts for like cheaper. Oh, by the way, on the side note, if you're an um, electrical engineering major or computer engineering major, don't go out and buy like resistors and stuff because the school provides that for you. And don't go out and get like wires and stuff. You know, it's all there. Um, let's look in here. There's a lot of stuff in here that is really useful. I can just get it open. Okay. Uh, wire cutters. Um, these are very useful to have with you because um, we, in our lab, we have like one. And there's like 40 of us in there, like 30 or 40 of us. And we're all sharing the same wire cutter. And sometimes the wire cutter soap because, you know, it's after years and years of use. This one's really cool. It's like a seven in one. There's a lock here, and then um, there's wire cutters here. There's like gauges for the wire stripping. There's uh, pliers, uh, crimpers and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Um, if you don't wanna mess with wires, you could just buy a set of wires. Um, I bought the wrong ones. I was supposed to get the jumper cables, but these are pretty cool too. There's like little ones and long ones. Batteries. Don't leave without batteries. One of these days your calculator's gonna like die on you and then you won't have any batteries and you're gonna like cry. Uh, I bought one of, I didn't buy this, like the guy gave it to me. Um, I can put like ICs in here because you generally don't want to carry around ICs like loosely because like the, the little things here could bend or break or something. And yeah, so I got this for free. I don't know where you could buy them. Uh, this is a PCB board, a prototype one. Um, I'm working on a senior design project, so we have to use these. So you don't really need one yet if you're still like a freshman or something. Okay, that's all that's in here. Uh, this is a lab book that, uh, it has like little dots in here. Um, I draw like circuits and stuff. Um, pencil pouch. Okay, let's see what's in my pencil pouch. Markers. If you go to the tutoring room, Sometimes they have markers, sometimes they don't. It's useful to have your own. I bring around two, like, you know, just in case. Uh, pens, pencils, earphones. Very useful for studying, especially like if you're in a crowded place. Flash drive. I recommend getting a decent sized flash drive. I don't recommend getting like those free ones that the school gives out, like, you know, one or two gigs, because I have a lot of stuff in here. I've accumulated a lot of like diagrams and graphs and PDFs and stuff and projects, um, basic stuff, lead. Oh, I also carry these. These are double A's. My other trick batteries were triple A. These are double A batteries for like my mouse when it runs out of battery because I have a USB mouse. Uh, folders. I recommend folders because in other majors, you probably don't need to look at your syllabus too much, but in engineering, your syllabus is your life. 
because it has like your grade percentages, homework assignments and stuff. So we're like constantly looking at our syllabuses. And these are like notes and lab books and stuff. Graph paper. If you're new to engineering, you will need this. Some teachers require it, some teachers don't, but it makes drawing circuits and stuff a lot more use, like easier. Uh, what else do I have? I have my basic, you know, five subject notebook. Um, tissue. Say you're taking your linear systems test. You do horribly. You probably failed. You need tissues because you're going to be crying in the hallways. Uh, girls. Um, you are probably going to be one of two girls in your class. Or if you're like in a lab or something, you might be the only girl. And you know, your cycle. Whoa. You're the only girl in there. No one else has supplies. You don't have supplies. You run around crying, asking strangers, hey, do you have this thing? And they'll be like, no, I don't. And then you're just gonna have to like find a girl, like a girl you don't even know and ask, hey, do you have this? It happened to me, so. <laughs> so I recommend carrying those things around with you as much as like all times. Hair clip. If you have long, thick hair like me, your professor might say, oh, you gotta clip your hair up or tie it up. Some professors don't care, some do, but personally, I tie my hair up when it gets annoying. I used to have like really long hair and like I had to like clip it up all the time. Uh, key, gum, flashlight. Uh, I've never actually needed to use this, but uh, I got it for free. And you never know, you might be walking home alone at night. Ah! Anyway, <laughs> I'll fix that later. Uh, USB mouse. Um, I have makeup because sometimes uh, I want to talk to my professors, like visit their office hours or talk, ask them for letter of recommendation. This is my personal preference, you don't have to, but I want to try to look nice when I talk to people. Especially like when you have to talk to professionals and stuff, you never know! And lotion and hair ties. So, you might not need this now, but by your senior year, you're gonna want to use a soldering iron um, and filaments and stuff. Uh, what else? That's all I have for today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment below. Thank you! <laughs>